All right, so welcome back. Today, I thought I'd have a bit, uh, have a bit of fun here um, and talk about the characters that are still pending their buffs, if you will, um, because they just got, you know, selected randomly to not get relics at this point, and we've been still waiting for them, and some of them are pretty much overdue. For example, why did, you know, Assault Melee get uh, a relic before uh, Lost Fin Melee? Lost Fin Melee clearly released first, so we're like, oh, most likely Lost Fin Melee would get one first, but that didn't happen. And remember, with how they've done the relics recently, you have to also realize, like, what are they going to do for the next relics? There are clearly humans, and we thought that it went off of, like, race. They're going to do, oh, humans here, uh, unknown goddess here, uh, and then, like, giant demon here, and then the fourth one we just predicted would be, like, I guess, extension of some characters. But instead, they just said, screw all of that. It's just character-based randomly. Like, it doesn't even have any sort of uh, consistency. It's just all over the place, right? So there are so many units that still don't have relics. Are they all now just going to get chalked up under Nidhogg? Or are they going to revisit some of these? Like some of these that are human units, like, you know, I'll show you here today. They clearly do not deserve to be under a Nidhogg boss, which is, again, a very hard boss to go and compete against. Maybe they go and sprinkle some back into these ones. Or they start another one and just continuously adding on more demonic beasts. Who knows? There's a lot of potential here to screw us over. So, again, I wonder how they're going to handle that aspect of it. Because currently, the last one we got was a while ago, and that was for King, I believe, um, over here for uh, Skull and Hottie. And since then, it's just been for Nidhogg. So, I wonder what they're going to do, if they're going to go back and, like, revisit the other bosses, or if we're screwed. So, let's let's find out soon, I guess. But yes, I went through and I favorited all of the characters that are pending relics. Um, I did leave out a few, and I did leave out a few SRs. Um, but mainly, the ones that I left out are the ones that aren't probably getting it for a while. Yes, you might be looking at Roxy being like, Oh, what the hell are you saying Roxy might get one soon? No, I'm not saying that. I'm trying to say that, remember... They clearly just did a Mono Relic, which Mono recently had released. They did a Freya Relic right after Freya released. There is no consistency in anything with their Relics. They chose Assault Melee over Lost Fane Melee, when Lost Fane Melee definitely needed a buff over that. But again, you know, eh, to each their own. So, with it, first up, Roxy. Yes, she can catch a huge buff here. She already is a very strong character and a very useful character. So I do wonder what happens in the future with her. Her Relic could definitely be very good for the human race meta. And however that handles, but again... Who knows when we get that relic? Esterosa probably isn't going to get it for a little bit, and I don't want to see any more demon relics. Oh my god. Um, Zelda's got one, and Ameli got one, um, but I don't think Esterosa will get it for a little bit. He'll, he, he's basically the last unit on that team, if you run the Esterosa team, um, with, uh, without a relic. So, he is the last chance to buff the team. If this is a terrible relic, that's it for the demon team for a little bit, unless they replace the character or add new ones, right? Uh, new demons, right? So, again, I do wonder how his relic will work, but this is something that will buff demon uh, team in the future. Freyr, I hope and I pray that his is a good relic that helps across the board. It is not, like, PvP restricted or this demonic beast restricted. If it is, they're going to ruin Freyr. Listen, he is already so good. He is good, I think, on every single demonic beast. Every single one. Now, give him a relic that will help him on every single one do not restrict him. I swear, I will be so mad if they restrict Freyr in any way. His relic has the chance to be so freaking good and a PV, like PVE carry across the board. Please, do not restrict his just like Freya. Make him everywhere, and it works, all right? He, he can be so good with his relic. Um, anything for each beast and just makes it easier overall would be outstanding, but probably not going to happen. Queen Deanne also is kind of... She's close to getting her relic. I do see her being one of the next festivals. Uh, though, again, I actually have no idea because they chose AML a little bit early. But, you know, Queen Deanne, you know, has potential also. She's still, you know, she's fallen off a little bit on the PvP side of things. You don't see her as much because uh, you mainly see Goddess Team, uh, Demon Team, and then some formula of a team with uh, Escanor or something. Um, but that's really kind of it. So with her, she can be a very good stance unit. Again, come back and help out some meta uh, for a little bit. So... There is potential here, though, again, it might take a lot of time here. Elizabeth, again, not going to happen soon. I, we, we haven't even seen our first light or dark uh, unit getting one. But I wanted to mention that in the future, my Yale's team can still get a buff. You hope for a good goddess unit. You got Ludo. See what happened there. Hopefully that the relics actually make up for the, uh, the L there. Okay, yeah, Jim Hopper and the AOT collab goes hand in hand. They need relics. They, they do. They all need reworks. I think almost every unit in the collab needs a rework. He needs some sort of buff and stat buff and stuff like that. Because they definitely fall way too short um, in comparison to what you're going for with characters. 100% is the case. Then again, there's a Latte, which I did not know did not have a relic. So there is potential with her getting a relic and actually being somewhat useful. 
um, across the board. And again, her other unit could also get a relic and help with the uh, the Nidhogg Beast. So that is there um, for this one character. Estarosa could also catch a relic and be very good again. I doubt it, but that's there. We have Lost in Meliodas, again, as mentioned. You know, he's never going to get one. It's uh, it's fake. Lost Fate never came to Global, and he's never getting a relic. So keep that in mind. We have Danaphore Liz here, which she's already a good PvE unit. She sees very niche usage. I don't even really think she needs a relic. <laughs> I wonder how they're going to do it. But, um, hey, extra CC to go and take on the Demonic Beast, or rather the Demon Beast. But um, an extra ult gauge gets added on or something like that. I don't know. Uh, Death Pierce, right? So this is a unit that could definitely make it uh, big again. He really could, like, actually work. Hear me out, hear me out, right? You have Nanashi who recently dropped, and if he does get his um, his relic, he could be really good. So you saw how Nanashi got revived, same way. This could happen with Death Pierce. His passive is also still pretty all right. If his relic is just broken insane, I mean, it's an it's a option for a good bench unit. A lot of people had a chance to pick him up, so it would be a cool thing to do. But again, probably not going to happen. Uh, Hendrickson. He needs a lot of relic help. The demon team is already pretty good. I don't think they need him. He is double AoE though. So if his relic has something to do with that, there's potential for him too. 11, they need help. Really, a lot of help. Oslo and Hawk also kind of exist. Captain Hawk kind of exists. Again, I wonder how they're going to handle those two units, but they don't really see much play at that. Um, there is Camilla, which Jazzy hasn't even done her passive for. It's kind of sad. But um, with this character, good character. Uh, back then never uh good looking character let's do that one but i do wonder if they're ever going to actually revive this character at all she doesn't have a relic is she the only catastrophe without a relic is she right i don't even know but yeah uh in the future i'm hoping for a new camilla that is like the greatest camilla ever but i don't think it's gonna happen deldry we'll see in the future what happens gallon again these are all units that really you won't you don't see them get much play so in the future if they do get a relic will that actually change for them their stats are so low so again he's a bench unit realize that now um and again there's some units that didn't include right so for example chandler the new chandler he could get like a big revive and his passive in this relic could do a lot of work um the cusack uh the new one could also do a lot of work there's that one dana for we got a while ago right which we all didn't summon for it because she was pretty useless uh, for 242 gems she wasn't even worth it at that because her passive just didn't help you as much now with a relic that could change again this is the entire new philosophy they have where freya was not supposed to be designed in the way she got designed that was that's bull crap right they released her as a waifu when everyone summoned as a pvp character or just to look at the character and if you didn't summon which you didn't have to 100 you saw that you suffered because now they made her a nidhogg character so they are open to making changes for example this might not be the best but let's say a relic adds on to that passive works on the bench now it becomes a really good character the nashi is the example there where it shows you in the future it could happen it really could okay um and again the biggest l of the century in the last collab they didn't give the sr slime a relic now there is sr Eren. he's not that bad in comparison um to a lot of units he is pretty good for when i used him back then for high points on some strats here and there but it would have been cool to give the sr units a relic i saw no problem in that well they didn't Again, it's like, just give it for free. Just let them log in. Get some little little relic boost here. No one's actually using those units. 100%. That is the case. I know. But they could have just got a relic for memes or whatever. I didn't get why they didn't do it. But, you know, that's there. Uh, when Jericho, all of the Jerichos, whenever they get their relics, that's there too. Uh, Derriere, I see her being like one of the next ones. I really see that being the case. Uh, so in the future, you'll definitely see that one. One of the Meliodas's, whatever name they choose. Uh, there's so many different versions of them. So there's all the different names. They all are going to get different relics. So... We'll see how that's handled. Gloxenia. Never got like an updated Gloxenia unit, which could have happened. But maybe a relic is uh, is put there. The other lanes also need a relic. The, again, that's another just Jericho. But um, Will and then Mike, both characters that could use a relic. Uh, they'll never get one. But, you know, I hope they never get one. But still, you know, hey, what happens? We'll see. I'm not a fan of this collab at all. But again remember the reason i don't want these to get relics is that the fact that it's going to take up a collab slot somewhere and we're going to lose a potential overlord collab for this imagine that nah 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 it's not it for me chief mont speed again captain uh, denzel over here another derriere uh and then dn there's a bunch of dns that are still missing or pending relics so we'll see when that actually happens in the future um Zaneri, also jenna and the uh later in the list i'll show you that too gila also that's there too um, again, put another Jericho. Uh, I do have Chandler, actually. Or Jazzy does have Chandler. There you go. But um, another character that can really help. His passive is pretty good. Now, let's say you add on a relic that ties into that and becomes a bench unit or a support unit uh, for Melly or any other demon characters in the future. 
there is potential with all these units here. Um, this Denifor Liz, the other one mainly. Uh, talking about that one. Again, Ocelon Hawk, Jenna, as mentioned. Bellion. Hey, Bellion could get a buff, boys. He can become the number one unit. All those six sixes you have of him, you can definitely do it. Oh, Jazz is a two six. I have a six six. All right. I once went and I did a five summon on the SSR ticket banner and I got four Bellions out of the five. I was mortified. I was crying for days. Um, and then that's really it. Back to the, the start of the list. She already has a relic, but those are the characters that are still pending relics. There are more, which is like Trader Meliodas pending a relic. There's all the other like latest festivals that don't have a relic, light and dark units that don't have a relic. There's a lot. I didn't include them for the reason they're not getting some anytime soon. Um, so didn't want to like say, oh yeah, that's the chance to them. But there are still more characters that are pending relics. But um, the ones that most likely are in like the chain or the line to get them next are the ones that I listed, minus one or two. But um, again, there is potential with all these units to get buffs and actually become useful. Just depends on how they handle it. And even if they want to handle it, right? They might just give up on some of these characters and just say, oh, demons now for Nidhogg. And then as future units release, they then do them for Nidhogg or other demonic beasts that are released. And these old ones just say, screw it, right? It's weird, but they definitely did not have to mark all of them and change the order and put like different races under each one uh, where it's like, you know, it's now hard to obtain the earlier ones because... They're going to just fall under Nidhogg, which they didn't get a relic. Now they're going to get punished for that by landing in the hardest content. You see what I mean here? A little bit off, but we'll see what they have in the plan in the future. We can't really tell right now, so that's there.